You know, in the region we have malaria, we have vector-borne diseases and so many others. The AFI project through Baylor College of Medicine uh, with the possibility of identifying even uh, more pathogens, respiratory, vector-borne, gastro, I think, I think it came at an opportune time. We're actually one of several groups overseeing acute febrile illness surveillance. We're focused on Belize and then transitioning to starting a new surveillance site in El Salvador. We have regular meetings and then all the data is coming in together. And then of course having CDC, which gives us this bigger umbrella. The important thing about AFI surveillance is that it gives local health authorities an excellent data set to work with. I mean, if we have this kind of information, we can definitely make some evidence-based policy changes at a national level. Without having this kind of data and this kind of infrastructure, diseases are going to be transmitted because we don't know what they are, we don't know how to control them. And by having this data of knowing exactly what we're dealing with, it really empowers public health to be able to go in and do something to control it.